My name is Katja Hoogendoorn. I'm a bee researcher at the University of Adelaide and I research native bees and also crop pollination. Well, what is happening here today is that a community group, Burnside's Abuzz, is with the support of the city of Burnside filling up a native bee hotel a hotel specially meant to accommodate native bees. Australia has around 1,650 known species of native bees, but most people don't know about them because these bees are solitary bees. They don't have a hive, they don't have a queen and workers, they don't make honey, but that doesn't make them less important. Very many native plants depend on pollination by native bees because honeybees do not visit these plants. One way to see native bees is by making a bee hotel. And a bee hotel is a collection of hollows where bees can nest in. And what they do in a bee hotel is they provision their offspring with pollen and nectar, make a ball on it and lay an egg on it. And then, so they fill up a nest like this one here. So one bee would use one hollow and when it's full, it can use another hollow. So a way to make a bee hotel is by bundling some stretches of bamboo. They're closed in the back but open in the front and clean it out a bit, put some zip ties on and put it under a big branch or under an eave or somewhere where it's a bit protected from the elements. And bees are searching for these types of hollows and they will come and nest in them. Hopefully this summer it will already attract bees and then people can also see the nest entrances of those bees because those bees, when they've got their precious offspring in there, they will close off the nest. And by looking at the entrance, you can actually tell whether it was closed by a resin bee, because it's got a resin entrance, or a mast bee, because it's got a cellophane entrance. And so there's a lot to see in a bee hotel, even when uh, the bees themselves are not active, for example, in winter.